Well, Springdale had lost to Russellville last week. Bentonville was just hoping for some momentum tonight to carry them into the playoffs next week. Fayetteville's packing it in after this one. The Tigers will be the number two seed in the West no matter what happens in this game. Fayetteville on the move early. Lance Tucker's in the Tiger territory, but Ben Wanders is there with the strip. Tigers have the football. Bentonville will give it right back. Alan Schlagenhoff is hit in the backfield by Tim Serafini. John Miller is there. First down, Fayetteville. Purple Dogs are going to have to go for it on fourth and three, and the Tigers will build a wall. Blake Parker isn't going anywhere as he's pushed back. Benville's ball. Now, we're going to move forward to start the second quarter, and it is Miller time, as in John Miller, who comes up with the sack here to get Fayetteville the ball back. And on Fayetteville's next possession, fourth and eight from the 47, they're forced to punt, but wait, it's a fake. Woody Wilson finds Parker for 25 yards and a first down, and that would set up this fourth down play. Wilson back to throw, and he's going to find Cedric Logan with a 22-yard touchdown. Purple Dogs take a 7-0 lead, but Bentonville has a chance to get on the scoreboard late in this game with a 28-yard field goal attempt. It's going to be wide right. Tigers have one more chance in the first half. Dave Jones from Fayetteville drops back, throwing deep, but in steps Christian Boyd, Oski, and he's going to return it. But time's going to run out on the Tigers. They're going to trail 7-0 at the half, but it's all Bentonville after that. They win at 14-7. Hey. It's Texarkana will be the best matchup in the first round. And Springdale could win on the road at Texarkana. The Bulldogs may be headed to War Memorial Stadium. Ty Bluff has to travel to Bentonville in the first round. Southside starts the second five. Then it's Bryant and El Conway's number nine and Central's number ten. 